This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Welcome back to another episode of No Waco. This is your host, Debbie. Welcome back to another episode of No Waco. I'm your host, Debbie, and today we have some very special guests here in the studio. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Kenesha Griffin, and I am with Community Resources Planning. I'm Carol Keeney, and I'm also with Community Resource Planning. Hi, my name is Javier Jordan, and I'm with Community Resources Planning. Yay! Well. well, thank you guys so much for being here today, taking time out of your busy days to come up here to the 21st floor of the Alico Building. Um, thank you so much for being here today. Well, thanks, Debbie, thank for having you. us. No, thank you thank for inviting you. us. Yes. Um, as you guys might know, Kanisha has already been on our show before with yes. Create and Blossom Studios. <laughs> um, if you haven't already gone and listened to the episode, you definitely have to. It is absolutely amazing. Get to learn a little bit more. Um, and we have two new guests on the podcast today. Um, so go ahead and um, tell me what brought you to Waco. What's your Waco story? Well, I kind of have a around the world story. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I started in Houston, moved to Georgia, mm-hmm. met my husband, moved back to Houston, moved back to Georgia, moved to Ireland oh. for 15 years. <laughs> then we moved back to New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. And at that point, all three of our kids and our grandkids moved back south. So we decided... It's time to get back to Texas. Wow. So we came back to Waco. I love that. So why Waco after being in Houston? I'm sure that's very different. Uh, well, because this is when my husband got a job. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes it easy. You kind of go where the money is. I understand. I understand. <laughs> and for you? Well, I'm originally from Mexico City. Uh, I've been here in uh, Texas almost half of my life. Wow. Um, so my parents sent me when I was little here. And I ended up in Waco. Mm-hmm. And um, been a couple of different states in the U.S. Uh, I was there in California for a couple months, uh, you know, just going to different states for for work. But I love Texas, and this is what I want to stay. And we're so <laughs> glad you're here in Waco. Yes. You do so many amazing things. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for being here today. So tell me what the community resource planning group is. What do you guys do? Well, basically, um, thank you for asking that question. Uh, Community Resources Planning, CRP. uh, It was an idea to help the community. Um, As I mentioned earlier, I'm from a different country, from Mexico. You know, I see a lot of um, opportunities here in in town. But at the same time, uh, we, at at that time that I was going back to college and all that stuff, I didn't have enough resources. I see the need here, and especially here in Waco, that we we need to encourage the community to do better. Um, there's a lot of programs that nowadays uh, are working for the community, but we want to continue to support our people. We want to continue to uh, be uh, a better person, and that's what we're creating a CRP. Uh, one of the goals is that we're launching the Man's GD, and maybe Carol can tell you a little bit more about it. But that's one of the biggest projects that we have right now. And uh, we're very excited to announce it to the Waco community. I love that. Mm-hmm. And so you guys just had your <coughs> event at Thirst um, for the coffee mm-hmm. tasting. Mm-hmm. I saw that was amazing. Mm-hmm. And this program just sounds amazing. Yes. Um, one of the things that we want to do at CRP is not repeat what other people are already doing in Waco. We want to fill the gaps. Mm-hmm. And I already work with a women's GED program. Mm-hmm. And most of my students have been asking for a men's program for mm-hmm. their sons, their brothers, their nephews, their uncles, you know. And I realized after doing lots of research, there Mm -hmm. really isn't a men's GED program. Mm -hmm. So when Javier approached me and asked me to join CRP, I said on one condition, and that was he supports my (laughs) men's GED program, (laughs) and he agreed. I love that. And so we are developing a program that it's not just about getting the GED. We're Mm -hmm. developing a program that's about the whole person. Mm -hmm. We want when the person walks through the door, okay, what do you want to do after your GED? Mm -hmm. So that once they get their GED, we will already have them on the road to getting them into college, if that's what they want, or Mm -hmm. tech school, or helping them get a better job. Um, And the program 
they're not just going to be going through uh, the GED classes, but we have put into it a uh, personal development class so they can mm -hmm. learn how to write resumes, interviews, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. We set them up with a mentor and a caseworker to be with them through the whole way. Mm -hmm. And one of the last things that we have is a Bible study class. It is not required, but it's there for them if, if that part of their life they want help with as well. I love that. This is amazing. And it does sound like really a community collective that's come together to better it. So what is your overall mission here in Waco? Yes. You know, it was super easy for me to get behind what Javier and Carol were working on here because I just know that their hearts behind it are to really, really get in and help the community to um, provide those resources that a lot of um, our schools need in order to help our students and also to help the men's GED program as well. Um, I just I love their heart behind it, their passion for it. <laughs> and so um, I think that is really just really going to be the, the bigger thing that's going to help other people um, just come on board and, um, you know, help allow us to really help them. Yeah, I love mm -hmm. that. And so it sounds like that you guys are something that's needed in the community, but why do you think it's so yeah. important for you guys to be here in Waco right now? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Mainly, like I say, it's just because I know that there's a lot of men out there that, I mean, they're working, they're trying to bring money to, to the table and support mm -hmm. their families. But <clears throat> a lot of those um, uh, places they hire people and mm -hmm. they just they just, because we need people to work and and some of them they don't they require a gt and and if mm -hmm. they want to do better for you for yourself for your family of course you gotta you gotta get a, a higher education so mm -hmm. that's what we're trying to uh emphasize on a main gt because i know that it's needed here in the community mm -hmm. i know a couple uh institutions here in town that they were trying to do that several years uh back but mm -hmm. they were not as successful so mm -hmm. we're trying to uh get it back together and help the community i love that and so how long have you guys been formed now as a group uh it's a little bit over a year wow uh well, like i say it was i came up with the idea probably like a year and a half ago and then finally we can moving on to making a reality and, and start helping people I kind of love that. What is kind of the journey that it took to, I mean, I know you kind of talked about you joining in, but like, what yeah. was that journey like just trying to start this and get it going here in town? Oh, that's, yeah. that's <laughs> a story that I can mention <laughs> here. Oh, um, there's a story. I'm excited. <laughs> so basically, uh, like I mentioned, when I finished my high school here, um, I didn't have many resources and it was complicated mm -hmm. because I mean, my parents support me as much as they can, but at the same time, I didn't know much about it. Uh, where to go, who do I need to talk to? So it was kind of complicated, very complicated for me to mm -hmm. start working and do a school at the same time. And that's how I kind of, I know there was a little bit of struggle there for mm -hmm. me. Uh, I, I, I still see a lot of struggle for some people. Uh, and mm -hmm. and the main thing is that no matter uh, what, you, what you do, what was the reason that people quit a school, that's what we're trying to be there for them because mm -hmm. uh, I went through that. And mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I went back to school for like a year and a half and then I quit and then I had a little bit of money and I went back. Yeah. So I want to make sure that we cover all these gaps. That way we can help people that really want to uh, be better. And and we um working with the South, uh, South Korea Institute. That's where the main office is for yeah. CRP. Mm -hmm. yes. And we're working together and we're trying to, like Carol mentioned, you know, we're trying to make sure that they get the GD and then if we want to go to college. We can continue helping them to with with the education. I love that. And with Waco growing so much right now, it's mm -hmm. definitely important to get yeah. that off the ground and mm -hmm. going. I feel like there are so many communities here that need that support mm -hmm. and that probably haven't had it before. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. So I'm not from here, so I can't speak specifically to Waco. But what I can say, based on where I come from and the kind of community that I come from, um, I remember seeing people feel hopeless um, because they didn't have the right resources mm -hmm. and did not know where to go. And so it just took them down a completely different kind of path because they just didn't feel like there was much opportunity for them. So what, what we're working at with CRP is to make sure that they have the opportunity, that we equip them properly mm -hmm. so that they can get the GED program that the GED that is going to help them for their education and get the jobs that they need, but also prepare them for the career opportunities and for those next steps, you know, mm -hmm. which ultimately, you know, when you help them have that hope, 
um, and and uh, find that determination to keep going and the will to keep on moving forward, it ends up helping them and their families and then people the mm-hmm. people around them and they influence other people too. So it just it impacts many many people and not just you know the one who's coming here. So I'm really excited to to be a part of that with them. And we have. Javier and I have both seen how the women's GED program has already impacted because Mm -hmm. one of the women that is now involved has gone through the women's GED program Mm -hmm. and she is very excited at helping Mm -hmm. us out. And I find her input so valuable because hers is coming from the point of view of the student, the point of view of, you know, somebody that needed this program. So I rely a lot on her you know, her input and and everything. So it just excites me to think that we can do the same for the men's. Um, If we just need the the hardest part for both men and women is taking that first step and saying, I need help. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have created the program in such a way that we're not judgmental. We want you, we love you. Mm -hmm. We want you to be a part of us and we will walk with you along the whole path. I love that. And again, that is so important for our community, um, especially when there is a stigma that surrounds around this and the Mm -hmm. idea of going back to school and even being in a college town. I still Mm -hmm. feel like there are so many people here that are just living their lives and they might not know about you guys. Um, What are some ways that we can find you or get involved? Anything like that? Yes. So we have a website, communityresourcesplanning.com. That's first. I would love to direct people to, to visit our website to learn more about our team, um, to read some articles that we're making available, um, to learn about the new events that we have, you know, mm-hmm. coming up, you know, that's going to be our main hub. We're also on Facebook and Instagram too, um, at CRP Waco. So they can definitely find us there as well. Perfect. And I heard, speaking of events, you guys are going to be, um, somewhere this weekend. Tell me about it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be tomorrow. What was that? Saturday? <laughs> Saturday. Oh, Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't even know what the hell I now. We're just uh, here. <laughs> yeah, Saturday we're going to be uh, participating with the parade, mm-hmm. and we're very excited. We Did got like probably 10, 15 people that are going to help us out. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we just want to pass candy and then start getting to know, like mm-hmm. the community, get to know a little bit about CRP. And mm-hmm. that'll be a good uh, opportunity to connect with people as well. I love it. Are you guys going to go all out? Are you guys going to have a float and everything? Yes. Or... We will. Yes. I'm excited. We got a dress and everything. So, we're oh. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta oh get your uh, Calavera makeup. <laughs> get ready. Um, but it's going to be a wonderful <laughs> event this weekend. And the parade starts at four, right? I so, so, tell us about the route and um, all the things. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you got to tell us all about it. Um, well, are you talking about for the yeah, for, for the, the parade? parade? Right. Yeah, um, for the parade. Yeah. Well, it's gonna like I said, it's gonna be like fifteen people. We're gonna um, we we got somebody that's gonna paint our faces. Love it. Um, we're gonna decorate the trailer, mm-hmm. yeah. and I think it starts at one o'clock uh, here in downtown, mm-hmm. and it's probably gonna be a good couple hours so yep. from four. Well. They required it for you to be there at one, but it yes, technically it's going to start. Parade starts at right at four. Right, yeah. right at yeah, four. Yeah. So hopefully yeah. a couple hours from 46 or so. Yeah. yeah. And this year, I hear it's also the year of the monarch. The monarch. Right. That's I'm correct. excited yes. about yes. that. Butterfly. So um, we, we we all have we monarch have queens. <laughs> 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 I'm so excited. I was going to say we need a bar or something. I got some. So. We have monarch queens and uh, we've got. Two life size skeleton. Oh um, my god, what are their names, I, Carol? And, and I've been talking around with them, but they're in my back seat. You should put like a little graduation cap on them. <laughs> yes, right? We're gonna put monarch wings on That'll them as well. So. <laughs> yeah. um, I love that. And you know, the Dia de los Muertos celebration really mm-hmm. is a great way for other organizations <clears throat> and just people in the community to get involved. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of people don't realize that Waco has these kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Um, so again, is why I think it's so important that. Um, organizations like you guys and then even the, having the parade itself is so important here in Waco mm-hmm. um, and I think that's a really great way to connect with our community yes. um, I know you guys have a few other things coming up if you guys want to shout out anything else or maybe give us some things to look forward to let me know yeah well we're working on a holiday event right mm-hmm. now yeah mm-hmm. and um, and then mentioning that let me also say this too we are also looking for volunteers mm-hmm. so I want to make sure that I make that announcement Please, for volunteers. CRP we are looking for people who are passionate and excited about reaching the community, um, helping out, getting on board, um, whether you have a special set of skills or not, and mm-hmm. just want to be a part of a great team and get out there and, and uh, just 
get out in the community with us. We we have spots available now. So if anyone's interested in being a volunteer for CRP, they can go on our website, communityresourcesplanning.com, and we do have volunteer applications that are on there. Um, but that. we are working on a pretty fun holiday event right now. Mm-hmm. So we don't have all of the full details as we're continuing to work those out. But mm-hmm. something uh, really cool is coming. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's so, amazing. And I'm on the note of the volunteers. In the GED program, we are looking for volunteers for people to be mentors, caseworkers, mm-hmm. tutors, and even teachers but in addition to that i i know we talk a lot about the ged program but javier also has a vision of uh, crp being something where we can go out and help community people like if mm-hmm. you're an elderly person and you need your grass mode mm-hmm. you know um, we want volunteers that would be willing you know if we can match you up with um you know some of needs the grass mode um, yeah. just something as simple as that and so we ask um that you take a look at our website mm-hmm. to become a volunteer like that i know there's a lot of um lawn service companies that like to do videos mm-hmm. and they'll they'll mow the grass for free you know we would like to be able to connect you up with something like that right yeah yeah well, mainly like i say, well like carol said we we're trying to help as much as possible the community there's uh, like I say, in, in different spots of Waco, there is like places where there's a lot of elderly people, mm-hmm. and you know sometimes they have the uh, the the family is not around, or mm-hmm. they like an hour away from from where they live. So we want to make sure, you know, if they need to replace a window, they need to replace a door. We want to be able to help them, you know. I love that. I mean, at the end of the day, some of them they work for the military, and we and some of those <clears throat> they don't have the the, yeah. the sources. So we want to be able to help them as well. I love that. Uh, if they need to replace something in their house, we want to we're going to help that as possible. Uh, and I think yeah. that's so important, especially you know as our community again continues to grow, mm-hmm. things like that do get forgotten, and those and communities that are impacted get forgotten about. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's beautiful getting to see that that's something you guys are planning to do, yes. and the fact that you guys are always looking for volunteers and getting people involved is so important as well. And not yeah. only volunteers, but we're looking for people that need the help. So yeah. if yeah. you are that elderly person that needs your grass mowed or need a window oh, replaced, window and, door replacement, yeah, right, get in, touch go, yeah. get in touch with us. Get in touch with us. To our website and get in touch with us so we can make those kind of arrangements as well. Wow, that's amazing. Um, and with that, we'll take a quick commercial break and then we'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm April. Hi, I'm Caroline. And we have a new podcast for you. What's it called, Caroline? Uh, Bloody Happy Hour. It's going to be your new favorite guilty pleasure. We're going to talk about some bloody stuff. Serial killers. True crime. Rape. (laughs) Rapists. Why not join us? We'll have a good time. You literally never know. I don't know what I'm going to (laughs) say. Bloody Happy Hour. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. All right, and we're back. So we're just talking about all the volunteer opportunities that you guys have and some ways that you guys are hoping to get more involved with our community. Um, With that, I think it's so important um, to ask, um, why do you think um, it's so important for you guys to be here? And what is something you guys would like to see more of in Waco with this program or just in general? We, we, like I said, we just uh, barely knew. uh, We're trying to... We got a big vision for CRP. We're mm-hmm. going to go all over Texas, uh, Austin, Dallas. I love that. Uh, San Antonio. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, of course, we got to have a solid uh, mm-hmm. foundation here first before we move farther. Mm-hmm. And I think, like, uh, Waco is, uh, people in Waco is amazing. I'm just surprised that uh, our community is amazing, the way that mm-hmm. we get together for to do events, you know. Uh, I mean, we're getting people from all over. We get more visitors and than mm-hmm. Alamo and San Antonio. Okay, we're a so, Texas certified visitor city now. So, so we were the first ones. Definitely mm-hmm. Waco is on the map now. <laughs> yeah. And that's 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 good. Yes. We need that. Yes. So um 
I would also like to say the one thing that makes uh, Waco so great is um, Southern Careers Institute has mm -hmm. really stepped forward and has wanted to partner with us from the very mm -hmm. uh, beginning of mm -hmm. this. And um, we see opportunities for growth here. Mm -hmm. And once we, like uh, Javier said, we get a strong foundation here, we can start spreading out to Temple and, and, and farther out and spreading our mission and our goals um, in these places as well. I love that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I just... I would love to just see more continual support of one another. You know, yeah. there are other great organizations out there too that want to be a part of what we're doing. Um, I'm so glad you mentioned uh, Southern Careers Institute because they've been wonderful mm -hmm. to us in so many ways. And uh, we're grateful for um, for Roy there mm -hmm. and um, for everyone else mm -hmm. who, who see what we're doing, um, even at our stage where we are right now, willing to come on board to participate or to help in the way that they can. Um, I love to see that togetherness, that mm -hmm. community togetherness is just so powerful, I think, you know. It's less competition, but more, hey, we're all in this together for our mm -hmm. city. So I just would love to continue to see that, more of that. How can we encourage that and be a part of that and welcome that and all that good stuff? Amazing. Yeah. And yeah. you already jumped to my next question. Is there anybody you guys want to shout out that's helped along this journey? It sounds like it really has been just a community initiative and mm -hmm. so many people wanting to get involved. Um, please shout out anybody you guys would like. Well, I would say Roy. I think Roy is going to be uh, our <laughs> hero here because what, yes. when I um, introduced a little bit of the idea from mm -hmm. uh, CRP, he was, uh, he, I mean, immediately say, I'm in. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to help. And I mean, I invite you guys. And if you want to visit the place where we, CRP has the main office, uh, South Air Career Institute, which is the facility is amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. They got all different rooms, all the technology that we, the, we need, mm -hmm. computer rooms, mm -hmm. and there's different careers that they offer there at the mm -hmm. same time. And that's what we partnered with them because they, they will be able to help uh, the students with the next step. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if uh, anybody has questions, please come visit us at, uh, at Southern yeah. Korean Institute and we're more than welcome to kind of walk you through and, and show you around and they can see what we can do to help. That's really cool. Yes. I love that. And I would also like to take Thank uh, Ben Durvac with mm -hmm. 2024 Productions yes. because Beautiful photos. <laughs> he yeah. has really He's been awesome. great stepping up, joining our mission, <laughs> yes. joining our board and helping us with the videos and mm -hmm. uh, um, social media mm -hmm. content. And yes. I would also like to uh, thank um, Shaniqua yes. because um, her vision of what she, the GED program should be has been just I just, I spend hours with her talking <laughs> about it, and um, she has really shaped, helped shape the program. I yeah. love that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we've been, CRP has been blessing with a lot, a lot of good people. Carol, yeah. Kanisha, mm -hmm. thank you for all the work, the hard work that you put in to, to <laughs> make this uh, baby continue moving <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and growing. So that's, that's amazing. I mean, the team that, the, that we have right now is just fantastic. Everybody is very very positive and very helpful and we're trying to find resources to continue moving forward with crp and we are thankful for you mr president yes. so, uh, we, we, we are sure thankful for javier <laughs> sitting down one day and just drawing notes all over on a napkin, napkin. And, yeah. <laughs> and it was coming a, up with this vision. yeah this story yes. started a napkin like so many stories out yeah. there mm -hmm. and um yeah, yeah did just, you save the napkin and frame yes. it yes i was gonna say you yes. better that's gonna be worth something one day one put it in the office shout out uh andrea said there's coffee shop yes. have to thank oh, him yes. because he you know, worked with us, was really kind to us to let us use his coffee shop to be mm -hmm. part of um, the first fundraising event that we had, which was a great, great turnout and a wonderful time. So we appreciate him and go to Thirst Coffee because their coffee is so good. <laughs> oh, their coffee yes. is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 I'm so sad I missed out on it, yeah. honestly. I'm <laughs> having FOMO still. <laughs> <laughs> and I would also, it's kind of a shout out to come in. Um, we're looking for other organizations that would like to work with us, including yeah. churches. Mm -hmm. um, if you're interested, please contact us so that we can, you know, work with you, especially churches, because we find that that's where a lot of the men are that mm -hmm. need the help. They mm -hmm. first 
get involved mm-hmm. in a church, mm-hmm. and but then they don't know where to go from there. Yeah. So yeah. if there's any church out there that would like for me to come talk mm-hmm. to them about the program, mm-hmm. please contact us and I'll be more than happy to come out. I love that. I love that. And I mean, there you go. It already leads right into my next one. I feel like you guys have done this before. (laughs) Um, Please tell me where we can find you guys. I know you guys already gave us your website, but please tell us if you guys have any social media, emails, whatever we can do to reach out and get more information. Okay, (laughs) communityresourcesplanning.com website, probably uh, one of the best places. We do have a number on our site, too, so I haven't Mm -hmm. memorized Mm -hmm. it yet, so forgive me for that. It's (laughs) there. But thank you. It is on our site, though, so you're welcome to call Mm -hmm. that number if you would like to reach um, our team. Um, I believe it goes right to Southern Charisma Street, which is where our Mm -hmm. office Mm -hmm. is located. Um, But, yeah, I would just keep up with, um, with our website, with our social media accounts. Because any um, events that we have coming up, we're going to have everything posted there. And then also, uh, we do have like an informational meeting too. So for people who are interested in volunteering, I think we talked about... November 8th. I think it was like yeah, the November 8th or so. 8th. Perfect. Yes, that's coming From... up. So those, I'm going to have a post to go out on social media about that Perfect. so people can uh, come to the informational meeting if they're interested mm-hmm. in learning more. Yes. And Amazing. if yeah. they're driving past Southern Career Institute, they can pop in there and ask for Rory Hawkins, and he can talk with them as well about the program. That's I, okay. was trying, I was trying to look at the address because I still don't know the address. <laughs> yeah. I was like, let me find out the address. But <laughs> the address the is going to be 3700 I-35, uh, Waco, Texas, 76706. Perfect. So CRP got the main uh, office there as well. So yeah. y'all yeah. can yeah. visit us over there, and we give you information. Perfect. Yes. I love that. And this is absolutely beautiful. Just getting to see it grow. And I'm sure you guys have already seen so much community growth and just impact that you guys want to have. Mm-hmm. Um, with that, what is maybe some of your goals, either quantitative or qualitative, either by the end of the year or even looking forward to 2025? We want to, we, uh, again, um, the main thing is just continue uh, make this uh, MNCD the successful the, the next year. And then, um, we got a couple of events that we're trying to put together mm-hmm. for next year, something around the summer. So Yahoo! that way people can be uh, alert and mm-hmm. tune with the CRP uh, yeah. website. And uh, we can probably let you know a little bit more about that. We want to make an event where all the community can get together and uh, help us uh, make a, commi- uh, a commitment with, a, with the community as well and raise more money to continue supporting uh, yeah, students. Uh, we also adopted uh, South Waco Elementary School this year, Aww. and um, I hope that we can get even more involved with the school and helping mm-hmm. them out. Um, we started with a uh, back-to-school supply drive that we did, mm-hmm. and um, hopefully we can start um, working on other events with them. I love that. Yes. That's amazing. And we're trying to probably plan a, a little get together, you know, with the ugly sweater event that we're yes. trying to do for <laughs> Christmas. So, we're working on the details. is the one who's working on that. So. the bot over here. Uh, yeah. We're working on the details, but it'll be some ugly sweater, ugly sweater competition. <laughs> it'll be, and, and likely a toy drive too, uh-huh. because we definitely want to uh-huh. bless the little ones here in Waco with something special for uh-huh. Christmas. So, yeah, we're working on it. I love that. Well, this is absolutely amazing. And again, I just want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your days to be here in the middle of the day. I'm right here um but with that of course um is there anything else you guys would like to share with our listeners today anything we've forgotten any more information whatever you guys want to share well i just want to say thank you for uh <laughs> having us here and yes, of course. again um, please visit the website for crp uh thank you for those the one um that i mean we got so many people has been helping us uh, mm-hmm. i mean we got a big list, but for those that we didn't mention their names, so I want to thank uh, them as well because... Don't forget, they'll come after you. No. Right, they're going to come after me. You didn't thank me on the podcast. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people behind the scenes that, uh, that they've been helping as well. So mm, yes. I just want to uh, thank them for their time and um, yes. hopefully that we can continue making an impact uh, to families in the community here in Wake. I love that. Yeah. I also want to thank our families for putting up with us because we, <laughs> we spend a lot of time working on CRP. And then, um, you know, I sometimes wonder how tolerant my husband's going to be when I say, I've got another CRP thing I have to go do, you know. But he's been great. And, um, and you know, I know Javier's family's been supportive. Mm-hmm. And, um, 
Kanisha's family has been supportive. So I want to thank our families for standing yes. behind us. That's so important. Definitely. I love yeah. that. Yes. Anything else? Very good. Just well, thing so that's excited, it. very grateful, yeah, looking too. forward to what's to come, Yay. and uh, closing out this year with a bang, and Yay. starting 25 with a bigger bang. <laughs> <laughs> come, come see us on Friday, on Saturday morning Saturday, for the yes. break. Come have some fun with CRP and yes. and have some candy, get some, yes. some sugar for those. the weekend. Have some fun. I think, I think we also have some stickers for the kids as well. Yes, oh, we're going to have some stickers, stickers for kids yes. and, yes. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. of course, candy. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> So, yeah. yes, it's going to be fun. Uh, I know it's going to be, it's possibility that it's going to rain. So, be, you guys be ready uh, with a little rain jacket or something. But, you know, that, at the end of the day, that's not going to stop CRP. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sure the community is going to be like, okay, well, let's just do it. Let's yes. get it done. And It'll it's just make be fun. it more spooky when the makeup starts running down your face. There you go. Right, yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> yes. um, well, thank you guys again so much for your time. And thank you guys for coming on the show. Thank, thank you, Debbie. You. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you for having us. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Find us everywhere on all social media platforms, K-N-O-W underscore Waco. Check us out at roguemedianetwork.com and we're on YouTube under Rogue Media Network. Check out nowaco.com. This has been a Rogue Media Network production. Are you a podcaster? Let's talk podcast hosting. Are you tired of your current podcast host? Need real support in a community that gets it? At Rogue Media Network, we offer top-tier podcast hosting services to help you thrive. From hosting and distribution to dedicated support, we've got you covered. Starting as low as $25 a month. Join our community of passionate podcasters today. Contact us at hello at roguemedianetwork.com.